hit them anyways. Were you trying to move this on so with the shadows in here? There used to be a shadow, it's not a shadow anymore. That's just brown. Yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me! I almost forgot my name for a minute. Y'all, it's been a day. Anyways, we're here. We're going to really, really um, make some beautiful artwork. Please. That's in theory. I'm gonna get my balls out of the way. I'm just gonna tuck them in here. Um, better, but you're still gonna have to adjust the lighting. Hey, hi, how are you? Is it hot in Brisbane? It is not hot here. Um, let's try this a little bit more. So if you guys watch, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi, I'm Erica, and this is Jeff. Hello. And we're artists till death. I'll introduce the rest of our team later. They're fuzzy butts and they're around. Um, we're artists till death, and we paint live with you guys every day. Sometimes that means y'all are helping me with something. And sometimes that means I'm helping y'all with something. Either way, we always make something amazing or learn something. And it's amazing. And I love it. And I'm going to sneeze. But I said it out loud, so now it's just stuck in my nose. Put your hand up there. Ooh, I'm jaundice. We're adjusting our lighting. That's muy, muy better. Um, we're adjusting our things with you guys. Do you guys want to have us do a video of camera setup and lighting and et cetera? Would that help anyone or is that, is that not a thing? I don't know where my box is going, sorry. Right no, I don't like those textury ones. Those are large. So, hey y'all. If you watched our video yesterday, then you saw me doing a negative space swipe. Um, and I really liked it, so I wanted to do it on a larger space. So this is a 16 by 20 cradle board. Uh, we have these in our shop, along with all of the paints that we're using today, except for, no, we have them all. So, resin. Today, we are going to be using, dun, 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 wait, okay, Stone Coat Art Coat. It's my favorite resin for many reasons. Basically, whatever it is that you're looking for in a resin, this has probably got it. Okay, wait, let me think about how many ounces I need to make. Um, except it is not a casting resin, so you can't pour crazy deep with it. You'll end up having trapped bubbles. That is not fun. Um. You are. I know. I filled right it to. <laughs> I filled it to this one instead of the. I think you'll be all right. I think so too. Just over to. Just, just pour it just 
Do do four. go to four or just under eight ounces. Yeah, I'm headed for just under eight. If you're gonna mix extra of a part into something, make it the resin part because uh, contrary to popular belief, that's what I thought I got resin on my this. Yeah. Not. I was gonna say something poignant, but I forgot what it was, so. Oh. You would think that the hardener would make it set up and having too much resin would make it not set up, but it's actually the other way around. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Nene. I am wearing my Jam Jams from Clara. She got me for my birthday. Yes, I've been wearing them all day. I've been dealing with USPS and I can't even get into it. However, I do want to say that if your package just says in transit or label printed and it's been that way for a while and you've ordered since the 23rd and it's doing that, I know that that's an issue. I actually have 80 parcels that are, that have that um, tracking designation instead of being where they're supposed to be. So I have many cases out trying to figure out what the deal is. But then again, it is the holiday season and packages are taking longer than regular to get where they're going. But now I got people mad at me, which I don't like. <gasps> Hello, Deborah, Betty. I know, how have you been? We missed you, Miss Brody. Shane, TG, Lisa, Yvonne, Nene, Elena, Suri. Maria, Angela, I'm so excited to see all of you guys. So if you saw my piece yesterday, I did a negative space and put the paint on my swiping paper and then did the design with that. And it was very simple, but I really loved it. So I wanna do another one. Hey Sue, you did get one package today, Deborah. okay, good. Okay, good, Yvonne. Anyways, if you are waiting an exorbitantly long amount of time for your orders, I'm very sorry. I do what I can to send them out as soon as the order comes in. But after it leaves my hands, it's kind of difficult to control what goes on. Hi, France. I did have an amazing birthday. What's up, Sue? Jeff got new toys to play with today, so he's going to be doing fun things in upcoming videos. That's so sweet, Lisa. Thank you. You're watching too? Well, thank you for watching. Thank you, Donna. I got it from Clara. Same, Yvonne. Same. Anyways. Let's get him, Nicole. I was able to get my buddy Karen over the week to work with Reza on the first day, and she's hooked, so I set her up with your site to order a starter kit. <gasps> Hi, Anne. How are you? I was just showing someone that came by today, that gift that you made me a while back, years ago, they love it. And, um, shoot me a text sometime, Anne. Corby. I'm here to help you, Karen, and anyone in between that needs to know anything about anything that I know. Thank you for the happy birthday wish. Susan, if you shoot me a text, I can check on that for you. So close, Karen, so close. All right, I feel like this has been mixing for 
three minutes at least. So let's just scrape the sides and get on with it. Of course I still have it. It's at my front door. Everyone loves it and wants to know how I made it. And I, um, I don't have answers. Let me again. Oh, key, dokey. Looks good. So, Megan, what's up? Happy Friday. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. I forget what day it is. Y'all know that. So, the colors I'm using today are Titanium White by Just Resin, Cherry by Color Obsession, Chira. Turquoise by Color Obsession, Light Aquamarine by Color Obsession, and Dark Mushroom from Color Passion. It's a different color every day. When it was blue, I yeah, it was really had all the problems. Hello, Coleman. Thank you for saying that. There's some, yeah. There's four. And more. Four more, more. Hello. I have a question for you. If res, if I resin something and the resin appears fine, and then the next morning when I go, so excited to check it out, but the resin has almost receded. Is it? Are you pouring on something or in something? Like, is it a mold or is it on like a surface? Hi, Kara. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. He, if Bowie wants to be a hot mess, Bowie can be a hot mess. I am using dark mushroom. It's a lovely dark gray color that I'm having to like get up the gumption and bravery to use it. Gray is one of my five colors that I have a problem with. On coasters. Karen, what I'm pretty sure happened is that you had too thin of a layer down or there was something on the ceramic tiles that created a dispersion. Mm, I don't know if that's the right word, but it made it repel. So before I use any ceramic tiles to do anything, I always, always, always wipe it off with alcohol and let it air dry, which doesn't take long, um, to ensure that there is nothing there that would push back my resin. Oh, that's from Catherine the Paint. She brought me a flower for my birthday. That's what I would recommend, advise, assume without seeing it. So, that's what I would say. Either there was something on them, which is very common in ceramic tiles. You don't even see it, it just is there. It's like someone dropped a bit of oil, so the resin like reverse of pools, what is that? So it's not like pooling here, it's pooling away. Whatever that is, that's happening on the edges. I've had that happen to me before, it's so frustrating. Just put a clear coat over it, it'll be fine. All right, I made way too much of my colors yesterday, so I'm doing hyper minimal today. Also, I think I really am going to do an alcohol ink class. Caveat, have to have your own rubbing alcohol. I cannot ship that. Okay, so if you have a shipping confirmation, but it's not moving, does that mean that the package is just sitting somewhere? No, it means it just hasn't been scanned and a lot of times it just isn't scanned till it gets to the distribution center in your area. Don't know why. I don't know how they can be moving parcels without having record of having them. It just makes no sense to me. It's very frustrating. If you have an order that just says it's been printed and isn't showing any movement, that isn't, that doesn't mean that it isn't moving. It just means that I hate the post office right now. 
Also, they're very busy with Christmassy things. But you would even think then, especially now that they're even more particular about scanning pieces in. I digress. Hi, Arlene. No silicone or anything. Um, I'm not sure if there, if you had it coated in an acrylic pour and it still did it, I would say that you probably just had not enough resin or I don't need that much either. Okay. Either you didn't have enough resin or maybe you got it too hot when you were popping the bubbles. And so it thinned out in that area. That's, that's all I can figure without looking at it. Repel, good word. Skin oil can make it repel. That's, that's a fact, I've had that problem. Um, if it repelled in kind of like a rounded look, then it's from something being on it or it being too thin. If it repelled almost straight, then it's not level. Y'all, don't be too nervous about showing your art. I know it can be nerve wracking. I know it can be nerve wracking. Um, fun fact, that nervousness never really goes away but you can use it. I would say it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't not go away. It just, you see, you're a little bit more confident and you don't think about it as much. At times you're just like, you, you're having fun and you're not going, oh God, what am I like? When it's bigger stuff and it's something new than that old feeling of, oh, it, it, is, do I have enough time? Do I have, you know, it just kind of, it just goes away a little bit. I don't, I don't think that it, you know what I'm saying, babe? I do. You have, you have more fun and you're not thinking about it as much, but I think if you stop worrying about it, like then you're not having fun and you're, you're not testing yourself, you know, kind of. Jeff gets nervous before every Thing we do every show every countertop all of them and you just you have to more. you have to live with it For perk? was it translucent I don't think you're gonna get it much more opaque um finally is my resin and made mermaid scales it's been dried since Sunday but it's still a slightly tacky feel so is it really cold where you had them setting up. Um, I'm glad it's not the only, I'm glad it happens there too, Donna. These are not two ounce cups, they are three ounce cups. So I have an ounce or less of each color. That's a good point, Lisa. Everyone does have different tastes. And y'all, I'm not kidding when I say the piece that I like the least is always the first piece to sell. Never fails. Doesn't matter if it's online, in person, on the moon, an art show, a gallery, craft fair. The piece that I'm always, like I grab on the way out because I have a little bit of extra room, always sells first. Always. Always? Always. It's been chilly. Put it near a space heater, it may help it if it doesn't set up overnight and it's only techy but isn't gooey, you're, you might have to flood coat it, but the flood coat won't hurt it. If it's gooey, you're gonna have to scrape that off. Okay. So we're gonna do this basically like I did yesterday. Y'all are just here to witness my honing in of this style, technique, uh, design, insert whatever word you want to call it here, here, right in here. Okay. 
Thank you, Karen. Ooh, that would be not fun, Nene. P.S. Your ocean piece looked amazing. So I'm really taking my time to wipe my gloves off from all the color that may have transferred onto my hands when I was mixing the colors. Because I'm going to be hand spreading all of my grease the pan clear. And if I swipe it with, I'm almost too scared to do this. What's the matter? I'm scared I'm going to transfer color off of my glove. Well, why don't you just get a new glove? Because waste not, want not. What does that mean? It means don't be wasteful because eventually you're going to need it. And then you're going to be like, I shouldn't have wasted it. If you didn't waste it, you'd have had it. Are you testing my knowledge of waste not, want not? I think that it's that, but it's more of... Don't waste it because later on you're going to want to need it. That's exactly what I said, but in less words. Kind of. What do you guys think? Y'all. <laughs> somebody get him. And yes, this camera is different. Um, we're going to get another one. Uh, really we do still have availability in our Florida class. I need to push it more. Thank you for the reminder. We're going to be teaching a class live and in person in Florida, in Bradenton, the second week of January, question mark. We'd love to have you guys there. Join our class. You can uh, hold your seat on our website, artistsoldat.com. Two T's, two L's. Yeah, Valerie, put it in next to a heater overnight, like a space heater. Don't do it too close. You don't want to discolor it or melt anything. But leave it in a warm area overnight and see if that sets it up a little bit more. And if it doesn't, you could clear coat it since it's not gooey. I have issues pricing my art. I underpriced and then my husband says, if you make it too cheap, then people won't want it. That's a very good point your husband makes. If it is too cheap, it doesn't look like a bargain. It looks like cheap art so that line where it goes from i got this at a great price to why do i want that it's so cheap that even the artist that made it doesn't value it any higher that is well put i already have forgotten how i said that but um you got to find that price point where it's worth it for you to make it it doesn't come off as cheap hotel art. There's, there's a median in there that, depending on where you're showing in front of, how you should price it. We price differently, whether it's a fire sale, in person, uh, an arts festival, gallery. We price different for all those because you have to know who you're putting in, in front of and how they perceive that cost reward ratio. I'll check out far from Charleston. I hope you come down there. Hey, Clara. You got words tonight. You're spitting bars, babe. I am. Don't, don't go there. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to spit can't. more bars, but, um, no, I, I got kiboshed. Don't. When are we going to Janesville, Milwaukee, Madison, Wisconsin, or even what? Rockford, Illinois? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, Soon. That is the first time anybody from any of those places have asked us to go there. We didn't even, we, we uh, well, I don't think we've ever been up. What is that? That's. I don't know where these things are. East, north, northeast, like up, up there, up where it's real cold. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> so I want some Dairy Queen and I'll just swing through here okay enough jibber jab mm -hmm. so we have our clear down and this is going to be the main background this is my negative space I choose to paint my background a color and then add 
Um, I tinted resin on top of it because I like when I get a shadow from where I put colored resin over clear on a background and why waste paint? And, and, and you dilute it with that color too. It kind of gets diluted with clear, but not as much as it does with another color and it won't change other colors, right? colors. It will change color. So if I made everything white, if I made my background color white, like I tinted the resin white, and then I used a bunch of heat and say I used uh, red, it could create pink where no everything is white no. and then the red and it mixes because it then so then pink. So we don't want that. So how we get around that is it's just clear over whatever color background we want. See. See. I'm glad you got sound working too, Nene. I want a peanut buster parfait with caramel. Oh yeah. Please and uh, thank you. And a banana. Eight and a brownie. Okay. Just I'm just kidding. Banana, brownie, peanut buster parfait with caramel. Carol Bass. And a strawberry. Oh Ooh. my god, somebody got eaten. Their arm got eaten. I was just Carol gonna Bass say was. she got her whole arm. Almost got ripped off. If it didn't and it said it almost did, it might as well. They had to put her arm on ice. They said it almost. I heard it on the news. Like I was watching. I don't know. The there was another person working that had to hold her armpit so she wouldn't bleed out. Anyways. That's crazy. So my dark mushroom, which is more brown than I thought it was. I thought it was a gray color, but it's actually brownish. I would call this chocolate mushroom or dirty mushroom. Anyways. This is going to be my selling agent or my base tint. Claire said, don't forget the cherry. And I was like, I'm going to put it on when I get there. I thought you were telling me not to forget the cup anyways. So how do we want to do this? Yeah. That's going to be my design on this piece. I went ahead and used my base color to map out where I'm going. I did this for two reasons. Nice. I need to know where I'm going with my swipe because if you hesitate while you're pulling your swiping paper, you'll see that stutter. You don't want that. I don't want that. You could want that. I don't know what you want. Carol's arm was ripped off. No. Not helper. Carol, a person that works for her. Yeah. I, I, uh, it doesn't even work. It's a... It was like, volunteer. Volunteer. Super sweet looking little lady. Silver yeah. hair. She was trying to feed one of these lion dope tigers. No, she she th said that she reached in to unlock, to unlock it. it. I know, but she and was there to feed him. And he was like, I don't understand. Like, Snack. I know. Did he come out of nowhere? Did was he? He was in an area he front? wasn't supposed to be in. And so she called for backup, but she didn't wait for backup to get there. And then so she gave the tiger a snack of her arm. Snack. It was a snack. Okay. Enough jibber drop. We're going to put things on here. What order do we want to do this? I'm scared. Okay. Let's do. Let's go from dark to light. Yeah? Yeah. See. Are you showing them how you do that? Um, no. Why don't you go ahead and I'll start I'm thinking. Share them. Do I want it that big? Man. That's what she said. <laughs> the answer's no. <laughs> Is that too small? Uh, Arlene, they said that, uh, the lady was like, don't, please don't punish it. Don't put it down. Don't. Yeah. She was like, it was She's my like, mistake. It is completely 100% my fault. Thank you, Nene. It's done. This could be know, a finish that, that, just like fun. this. I'm, this bugs me. This little, uh, uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I don't see an, uh, like, uh. it just kind of goes right here. And then it goes that way. It's just a knuckle. Yeah. But it would be amazing if it was like that. 
It that's reminds me of those cups. Those cups? Those aqua, are they movie theater cups or gas station cups? It's like aqua and it has like, anyways. What method of resin application gives your favorite outcome? That's a hard question because it depends on what I'm going for. Lately, for a while I was all about swipes. Lately, I'm all about my attachment and ocean. Lately, but it could change. It changes all the time. Okay. So I'm going to take my swiping paper. I've decided to use a bigger one and I'm just going to kind of angle it. So I wouldn't do it like this, like a blunt edge where it's like even with this outside. I'm going to do it like this so I can control how fat the line goes because I felt like all these little papers, it wasn't going to be sufficient for the amount of space. I've ever. Okay. So what I'm going to do is follow you, I guess. Well, I thought you did that so they can see how I'm putting this resin on the stick on the member. Yeah. But then they, Okay, well, I'm not going to put it on there over the piece. Okay. It's a good medium. Okay, so we're going to go. No, we're not. I need dark light. So I'm just going to add lines of this color. This is kind of like a dirty pour, but oh, that's what we could call it a dirty swipe. Dirty swipe there. Oh. Laura Taylor, how are you? You, you, mister. And then no, let's do, which do you think we should do next? The cherry or the light aquamarine next to this dark turquoise? If you guys don't know Laura Taylor, she's amazing. She's brilliant. She's working the front lines of uh, the pandemic. She's amazing. All the love and respect. Did you guys answer me? Red next or, hey Megan, coin it, dirty swipe. Y'all already know. We did it first. Okay, y'all say cherry first or cherry next. So we're gonna run the cherry on there. And I'm gonna put some white in the mix too. And then some more cherry. And then this light aqua. Oh. No, sir. But that's what we got. Laura Taylor, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Wow. Oh, okay, Laura Taylor. Oh, she's got party lights oh. too. Thanks, never Laura. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to call it birthday monies. Oh. Okay, so we're going to do this. We may have to go back in because I've distributed all of my resin up to that point. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> so awesome. I don't know what I'd do without y'all's support. Okay. So I d it didn't go all the way. So what I'm going to do is flip it and we're going to meet in the middle. Laura Taylor, you spoil us. She does. I don't want to start back over and re-swipe from so this good. side because it's just going to deposit all of that color here and not make it to this point. So we're going to pull this way and we're going to angle it just like we did here. We cut it so you can see this little... How does it go? This little... Just... 
<laughs> I don't have the words, okay? Words are hard. I got a couple of good words earlier. Oh my gosh, why does this cat have to be right here? No. Don't, that's right in the thing. Yeah. Why does it have to be Hey cats! Y'all, this is gonna look really good. Laura, how was your day? How was everyone's day? Okay. Do you just ground the cat? Yeah. There's no doors in here, so. <laughs> this is gonna last a and super long cats time. don't listen, so. All right, let's try to layer it the same. We got that color, adding some red, putting the white on. That's my little doggy doo. More red and the aqua. Okay. Yeah, we missed you, Laura. We missed everybody when they go and do their life. That's so fun. I'm running out already. Yeah, but it'll be like really fun though. Oh yeah, that's perfect, babe. Woo! Beautimus. Drop the mic. Front lines are sucking right now. So many patients. I know. Everyone do your part. Stay home. Stay safe. with some heat and get some of these cells to pop out. B, what do you think of my this? Beautiful. Hmm. Wear the masks, right? Jeff's having a disco night behind us right here. So I like it, but this is a little too stagnant for me. Like on this side, there's a little bit of character. I love that, babe. That's so amazing. I think the reason why, because you, you started more of an angle and you continued it. This one, you started straight and I, you kind of did it. I did. That, I did do that. I found these results. Oh. Hey, no one asked you, <laughs> Cinnamon. I always like, Mom, the cat's in my area making biscuits. Making biscuits. So let me show you guys where, where we are. So this first side's already started to sell up, so that's awesome. This side will catch up. It's already starting to sell a little bit better. That's why. We need to put this up somewhere. Yeah, I know. Nay, Nay, thank you. You don't see him all the time, so this. I'm gonna do a beanie. Wow. It's a sad bear offering nurses left and right money to work, but we're dropping like flies. Well, I respect every bit of all of what you do forever and ever and ever, amen. I couldn't do it, and I'm glad there are people like you that can. So I love this red that comes through here because I cut through that way. I wish I had that on this side, but I don't want to mess it up. This is one of those no when to stop areas. 
So I'm gonna try to manually add character. I don't know if it's gonna work. Right after I said no one to stop, I'm about to do this. I'm just trying to pull hairs out of the side. It's something super subtle, but it keeps the lines from being absolutely clean, which when it is too clean, it bothers me. I may be the only one that has that problem. Laura, y'all don't get near enough thanks for all of the important work that you guys do. adding highlights over red right now. I think I want to add highlights of the aqua too. Give him a hug for us, Laura. Deborah, did you need a certain kind or are you talking about the ocean with the dolphins? Okay, let's see if we can make some magic with this light aquamarine. I would put this light aquamarine and the brown together any day of the week. Not brown, mushroom. Are you guys talking about ocean stencils? When you do swipes like this, when you're just depositing color. Put that food on the bar. Got to be very careful that it flows like you want it to. Oh my God. Wow. That is super fun. We need to do that on the 60 by 20. We can do that. I'm trying to highlight this cut through right here. Mm -hmm. I'm putting a light aqua. Babe, you're like a uh, a doctor with a uh, what is that physician? With a... Oh, thank you, Nene. You're saying I'm as precise as precise as a physician. Physician with a scalpel. Yes. Good wording, Dean. I need something else. Shoot me a message and um, we can see if it's something he could make a stencil of. What's that? I don't know. Okay. 
I just love this chocolate color. It's not chocolate, it's dark mushroom. Love the dark mushroom. Huh? Um, we're talking about COVID. Uh -huh. Popping these last few bubblies. Bubbly, bubbly. Let me make that. Mushroom, thank you. Claire, I didn't know you were doing dirty swipes before. What did you, did you call them something? Should I call them something else? Are we good with dirty swipes? I'm down for whatever. know if I like that. Let's just clean that back up. Ta -da. I still feel like it's a little bit too, you know, but I'm going to figure out how to best do this. Andrew, wow, what a trip, trippy piece. You guys have serious skills. Awesome. Thank you so much, Andrew J. Bye, Don Parker. Have an awesome day. Bye, Don Parker. You guys think this is getting a little out of hand? It keeps growing. Are we good with it? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one simplistic. I was just about to like add a whole bunch of razzmatazz, razzle dazzle, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave this one how it is. And then on my next one, I'm gonna do something a lot more widespread. I don't know. Claire, you can paint with resin. You do, if you guys haven't checked out Clara's channel, you should. Lady is amazing. She does stuff with resin and alcohol ink that I didn't even think was possible. Adds a character. Okay, we'll leave it. Hey, I'm not quite sure. How have you been? Um, I still have your coasters, I think. Maybe if you wanted. Heat up right here, and then heat up kind of right here, and then tilt it. I would do that, but I wouldn't heat the inside because that's where that cell agent is. And it already looks like it may get cauliflowery, so I don't want to add any extra heat to it. Yeah. That looks great, though. That looks like a piece of art, babe. <laughs> so that's going Sweet. for. So I'm gonna take this to the dust free zone. I think the next one I do it's gonna be more haphazard. I want it to be less uh not encased, maybe less refined, less um a little spread out and split them out. Split them out, split them out. Run them out. You know what I mean. Y'all know. I don't know what y'all be saying. You did good on this one. There's like zero on the side. Ooh, ooh. Man. Hey, Tina. Have an awesome day, Sue. All right, I have one of these that I'm going to do something with. 
Let's make the background color this aqua. I don't know why, but I've decided. Watermelon sugar. I don't think that's the lyric, but it is watermelon sugar. I don't know that for sure. I just feel like it is. Bam's texting me low key on the side. She knows what I'm saying. So he's gonna get mad at you, Beam. Are you gonna do a squish? Oh, I could do a squish. Do you have enough? Oh, I have maybe. plenty. Okay. I'm gonna put more of this down and then put the try to put the white in between these colors and the red because red and green make nothing fun. There you go. You got your little chair. Look at this. This is acting like I put something in it. See, yeah, I need your face. He just really turned his back. He said no. <laughs> He's like, I didn't sign a waiver. What do you think that is? See how it's doing? The... Mm -hmm. But there's no sell anything on it yet. I didn't do. It's weird, I don't know. Maybe it's just on here. These are old. Yes. So I'm trying to use the white as a barrier as much as possible. So I'm putting the red only where the white is ish. Okay. All right. You have to move that around a lot because there's always like a negative space when you don't put anything else. Whoa, babe. And then turn it. I'm gonna. I just want a little bit to ooze out of all the sides so I make sure there's no air pocket. Quarter turn. Oh, but you may have to help me. Uh -uh. Slide it a little bit. Just slide it off. It, it makes it easier. I don't think it matters which way you turn it. <laughs> it doesn't. You tell, there you go. Well, not slide it off. That's what you just said was slide it off. No, I said slide it so you can peel it up. It doesn't I'll do it myself. <laughs> How crazy is that texture? All right. Tilt that part off. Right. How is there always a stepchild with a smush? All the way down? I just like all this up here, but because that's just real busy. Yeah, it is. But it'll be really thin. Not in the corner here. You guys like the full slide? 
Well, if you guys like the full slide better than this, I will put this back on and slide it back. I don't think that. I think one, there's a lot more resin on one than the other. Like, Not anymore. it has to stay. And then it's just going to get muddy. Unless you put, ooh, maybe if you put lines across white and then you slide it. In the opposite direction? No, I don't know. <laughs> well, if I slide it in the same direction, I don't know that it's going to make much of a difference. So I said, put lines and then slide it. Right, in the opposite direction. Right, so I did the lines this way, so we would slide it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And you said, I like those better. That looks good. You can slide on another way. Too late. Yep. All right. Mommy, 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 not true. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mommy, 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 not true. <laughs> so I wonder if it's even. Even? Like the amount of resin. Like, where does it go? How does it go? Where does it, does it stay more on one than the other? I don't know how it does. I don't know how to make it do. It definitely does look like a planet. Y'all are correct. This one is a planet of water. Is Saturn. B. Good astronomy. Astronomy. Oh, yeah. Y'all, yeah. these cells are going to keep growing and they're going to look amazing. And what's really awesome is they're going to sell out and you're going to see the colors under it. They may even give me multi dimensional cells. Neptune. Schmear. Look, these cells are going to create awesome underneath. It's very raccoon looking. <laughs> raccoon. I feel like if Rhonda was here, she'd be like, I'm going to put that on the countertop. And she'd make it look better than mine. That goes for Clara, too. Why not try to do that? Like, Both of y'all. Get like a, a rounded edge. Put all your stuff down there. And then just take a piece and slide it all the way across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. No, you just wait. I'll be right back. Look at this, y'all. So many layers. I'm going to open this up and see what it looks like. If it'll come out. You think this will come out? Watermelon sugar. Hi. Watermelon sugar. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hopefully that Can you make... to the um, no. We're going to make a phone case. I bought some molding stuff today to try to make a phone case. We're going to try to see if it'll work. What happened on tomorrow? I don't know when it's happening. All right, well, if he doesn't do his phone case mold tomorrow, then I'm probably going to do an alcohol piece. 
has oh, that's so easy. had all the requests. No. It's not. Maybe that was a bad idea. Huh? Okay, then what? You probably send that to Travis and he can print it. We need to make our cameras so that we have our device screen. Okay. You've got water on Mars, right? Have we got another blank to press? Uh, maybe next time, Andrew, I'll try all those things. Oh, I saw that, Deborah. If you spray alcohol onto a resin piece, what will happen? It depends on what pigments you use already. If you have spray paint in it, particularly, it'll sell and make awesome webby design. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. It will, Karen. Yeah, he's definitely destroying the cup. Oh, yeah. Right? Emma is close. I could, Lisa, but they didn't call me, so. And again, this really just wants to stick to that. Gotcha, Emma. If he decides to do the mold thing tomorrow, then I'll do the alcohol ink on Sunday. I have some attachments for my heat gun, and they keep falling off. Any tips? So, let me. Can you stink past you? So on your heat gun attachments, you should have these little notches. And what those are there for is in case you need to make them bigger or smaller. So if you have some like a vice thing okay, or a friend that can help you push those in, you can make this nozzle. I don't want to say hole because then I get hit with a button. Come in. We're gonna have to take them away. Um, so that's where you can tighten your attachments or loosen them. Can Jeff make stencils with his machine? He can. Uh, I put a piece of wire to hold my attachments. That's also a thing. You can just take a wire and then like twist tie it. I'm not quite sure. Shoot me a text. We can discuss feasibility and time and stuff. All right, you guys. Hey, I knew you were faking it that time. Cup of kiss. Fake it. Mama knows. I know it. I know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, um... I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hope you learned something. Hope you had a good time. Hope you're entertained or whatever. If you are new, please subscribe. If you've been here for, I'm sorry. I just got growled at. If you've been here for a while, we love you so, so much. Um, we do have the online class where we're gonna teach how to do um, a glacier geode. You can get the class kit on our website, artistildeath.com. And if you have your own material, just show up and join us. 6 p.m. live. Yep. So Karen, I wouldn't use duct tape because I have used duct tape and the adhesive that's in it will melt, smell disgusting, and your attachment's gonna fall off into your piece and then scorch it, so be advised. Um, we also have an in-person class in Bradenton, Florida coming up on the something 16th of January. So hope to see you guys for that. And something else. 
Okay, what's the something else? Um, bigger picture. <laughs> I don't know. Tuck tape? I haven't tried tuck tape. I feel like anything with tape in it probably isn't going to work out well. Because tape uh, implies an adhesive, which when really heated, is going to melt. So, try it, but I wouldn't because I have and it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, y'all are amazing. Y'all are awesome. Follow us on all of our everything that I don't have listed right now. Cause, um, oops. And mm -hmm. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Probably be early. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, ATDs, poor people do that so that you can know if we go live early, we always post in the group so that everyone knows. Okay. And yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. What? Yeah, do your part before I could do more. Oh, and remember, we do the tests. So you don't have to. <laughs> you got to remember to do that so that you don't have to. So yeah. You guys have an awesome Friday night. Be careful. If you, if you go out, wash your hands. Don't um, drink and drive. Stay, stay six home. feet. Stay yeah, stay home. Just make it easy on yourself. The earth is about to go into shut down again, so just stay home. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. Yeah. Then turn on some music. Yeah. It's already over. Where's my Instagram?